Hey guys, welcome to another weekly reading vlog. It is Tuesday and I have finished work. In my last week's reading vlog, I told you that I was going to try to finish Strange the Dreamer off the basketball on Sunday and I'm happy to report that I finished it on Sunday night after basketball. I stayed up until 1am reading it. It was amazing. I loved it. It's my new favourite book of all time. <laughs> I feel like I can't even speak about it because... You know when you just love something so much, you either are super passionate about it and you're just like, oh my gosh, I love this book, or it's just like, <laughs> I can't even explain. But yeah, I just love this book so, so much. And yeah, it's my favourite book of all time. I don't see another book beating it in the near future. It just has so many elements that I love. It's high fantasy, it has everything that I love in fantasy. The characters, the writing, I honestly... I'm contemplating making a whole review on this book because I just love it so much and I want to talk about it, but we will see. But I obviously will talk about it more in my wrap up and just, just know that I love it so much. I feel like I still can't talk about it yet because I'm still processing. I just, I don't know. <laughs> I just love it so much. But yeah, so I'm so happy that I finished this. And that ending, I honestly don't understand how people who had to wait for the second book to come out did it because... It would be torturous and I'm so happy that I have the arc ready to go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so yeah, I love this book with everything. It's amazing. So yeah, also last night I edited most of my weekly reading vlog. I still need to do a little bit more editing tonight. After I was editing for a few hours, I just decided to read a little bit of The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue, but I literally got up to page 11, so not much progress. But obviously I have to have this done because the GG read along is this weekend. So we're going to be discussing in the live show and obviously I have to have it done by then. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I'm obviously going to be finishing this this week. I'm also going to start Muse of Nightmares. I'm hoping to also finish Muse of Nightmares this week, but we will see. But yes, yeah, so I'm super excited to start this. Obviously, I'm so excited. I'm also in the middle of listening to the audiobook for Blue Lily Lily Blue. I'm on page 257. I think I've actually made more progress than that, but my phone's over there. I can't even bother to see where I am in the audiobook, but I listened to a little bit more this morning, so I think I'm further than that. But yeah, I think I'll be finishing this this week as well. And lastly, the other book that I want to finish, this mysterious book. <laughs> so this is the book that I'm going to be reading for the collab with Kevin, and I'm going to be doing a separate vlog for that on Saturday. So when that vlog is available, I'll link it down below. But yeah, so keep your eyes peeled for that. <laughs> So yeah, those are all the books that I hope to read. Some very exciting reads. I'm not going to be doing the quote now because I haven't uploaded my vlog yet, so I haven't got the quotes yet, but hopefully tomorrow. I do, however, have some book mail, <laughs> which is always exciting, so let's get into them. So let's see what this first one is. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, okay, so we have The Golden Tower, which is the fifth and final book in the Magisterium series. I've been waiting for this to come out, I'm so excited for it. Oh my gosh, it's really short, I don't know how they're going to wrap up everything. Less than 250 pages. I really do love this series, so I'm so excited to see how it ends. This is a middle grade series by Cassandra Clare and Holly Black, and yeah, this is the fifth and final book. Oh my goodness. I don't know if I have time to read this this month. But yeah, so how cool is this cover, by the way? I love a lot of middle grade covers. I just think they're so fun and I love... Anyway, <laughs> so let's go to the next book. Okay, so I'm really pumped for this. I'm trying to stop saying excited because I say it so often and Tom from TJ Reads the Stars keeps telling me <laughs> I say it 50 million times. So I'm really pumped for this book. And that is Everyone's an Alien When You're an Alien too. Oh my gosh. Firstly, this cover is stunning. And this is by Jomni Sun. Oh, looks so cute. It's just a really cute story and I think it's one that I'll really, really adore. I've been wanting to read this for a while, but then I saw April talk about it in one of her weekly reading vlogs and she really, really loved it. So of course, I had to pick it up. <laughs> and finally, we have this stunning book. Love, love, love. So this is Arthur's Adventures in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass, obviously by Lewis Carroll. And I just love collecting editions of books that I love, and I love Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. So I wanted to get this edition, 
And also, I want to annotate it because I have never annotated an Alice book before. Because the editions that I have are not really ones that I want to annotate. But this is one that I would annotate. So, I'm excited to... Ooh! There's like this little brochure in there. Cool. So it has all the other Penguin Classics. This is the Penguin Classics edition. I just really, really love it. And yeah, I'm going to annotate it. And I am excited. And it has the classic John Tenniel illustrations. So exciting books. Exciting reading ahead of me. But before I get reading, I do have to, like I said, finish editing the weekly reading vlog. So I'm going to do that now. And then obviously have dinner. And then hopefully read. And then... I'm going to my boyfriend's semi-final for basketball tonight. So yeah, I'm going to do that now. I'm hoping to get through some of The Gentleman's Guide tonight. I'm hoping to get to at least page 100. This is a long read, but it's also a quick read, so I'm not too stressed. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm excited for the live show this weekend. So yeah, now I'm going to go and edit. So it's Wednesday and I finished work and tonight I am going to the movies, which is super exciting because I am going to see Castle in the Sky, which I've never seen before. They're doing like a little, um, they're calling it like out of the box, I think. So they're like replaying some Studio Ghibli movies. They're also playing House Moving Castle, which I wanted to go see, but it's English dubbed. And I prefer watching anime just in Japanese with English subtitles. But I made an exception for Castle in the Sky because I haven't seen it and... I want to experience it on the big screen, you know? I'm sure it's going to be something and I'm just so excited because I've been wanting to watch it for a while so I'm so excited that they're playing it and then I'm going to have dinner with my boyfriend and my boyfriend's sister slash BFF. <laughs> I'm really excited for that. So I won't be doing too much reading but I'm hopefully going to be reading once I get home. But to update you on my reads, I have been listening to more of the audiobooks so I'm up to page 324 of Bully Lily. <laughs> Every time I say it, it's so like blue. <laughs> blue lily, lily blue. And I'm still really loving it and I'm nearing the end point, so yeah. I've also read a little bit more of The Gentleman's Guide, so I'm up to page 56. I'm hoping to finish this by tomorrow. I don't know if that's possible. I was considering picking up the audiobook as well. But, oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm really enjoying it. If you don't know, this is my reread. And my first time reading it, I really, really loved the beginning bit. And the middle bit is where it sort of lost me, probably because of the audiobook. But we'll see during this reread. That's why I don't want to pick up the audiobook. But I'm also like, I want to pick up the audiobook because I love the narrator. And I want to make more progress. But I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, I'm excited to see how I feel once we get to like the middle bit. Sorry, I just wanted to quickly shout out. Yeah. I got these shoes yesterday and I really love them, so I'm excited to wear them. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey guys, it's been a little while, so it's actually Monday of the next week. I didn't feel the best at the end of last week, so I'm just going to continue on this vlog so it will be like a two week reading vlog. I'm actually not going to be doing too much vlogging today because I'm actually filming another reading vlog for um, a collab I'm doing with Kevin. Yeah, but I did want to check in because I have received two packages today. I'm really excited about them and I wanted to open them on camera. So the first package is from Hatchet Australia and I'm super, super excited because I have been really excited about this book. They actually sent me another copy of Muse of... Nightmares, I believe this is the finished, the finished copy. Oh my gosh, I did not know I was going to get this. Thank you so much, I was not expecting this. That is so cool. It is beautiful. Oh my gosh. I'm like shocked right now, I really wasn't expecting this, but it is, it's absolutely stunning. Oh my gosh. I'm actually in the middle of reading this right now and I am loving it. So I'm so happy to have this final copy. Oh my goodness. I, am re I don't even know what to say. I'm so... Thank you so much, Hatchet Australia. This is honestly amazing. Thank you so much. Oh. oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm so happy to have this. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, I actually thought that was going to be something else. I do have one other package. So I actually don't know what this is. But I'm obviously excited to find out. So let's see what it is. So this is The Boneless Mercies. I'm guessing this is an unsolicited copy. 
because I didn't request this, but this is from Simon & Schuster. Oh, so this is going to be released in October. Ooh, so this says this is an epic YA fantasy set in a breathtaking new world. Perfect for fans of V.E. Schwab, Leigh Bardugo, Lainey Taylor, and Melinda Salisbury. Yeah, so this sounds really cool, especially because I am a huge fan of V.E. Schwab, Leigh Bardugo, and Lainey Taylor, so yeah, thank you so much. So thank you so much to Simon & Schuster for sending me this. I am definitely intrigued. So I just looked this up on Goodreads, and it sounds really, really cool, actually, because it is a standalone YA fantasy, which we don't see often, so that's exciting. It says it is a dark and gorgeously drawn standalone YA fantasy about a band of mercenary girls in search of female glory. So these girls have to slay monsters, and it's set in a Norse-influenced fantasy world, so this sounds really good. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> so it is Thursday. 20th of September and I know I haven't vlogged a lot this week. I have to update you on my reads. So I have finished actually two books but I'm not going to talk about the other book because that was for a reading vlog. The one that I've been talking about, the one with Kevin. So you'll see what that book is soon. But I've also finished Blue Lily Lily Blue. This one's hard because I think it's a five star because I loved it so so much. It was definitely my favourite in this series but I don't know like the audiobook was amazing but I wasn't really in the audiobook mode, but I was into the story, so I wanted to keep listening to it, even though I wasn't really in the audiobook mode, so I was sort of forcing it. So I feel like I didn't get the full experience, so I think I'm going to take a break on this series for a little bit and reread this physically before I move on to The Raven King, maybe within a couple of months or maybe even next year, because I just want to savour it and cherish it and give it what it deserves. <laughs> so yeah, I think I am going to give it a five stars. I don't know, it was hard. It's hard, it's hard. <laughs> but I loved it, and on that cliffhanger, oh my gosh. I've also made some progress with Muse of Nightmares. I actually was looking at um, the little differences between the arc and the final copy, and I just noticed some like capitalizations that weren't in the arc, and <laughs> just little things like that. It was so fun. So I'm around halfway through, I'm on page 259. I just finished work, so it is six o'clock. I'm gonna try to finish this tonight. I don't know if it's possible but my plan was to finish this last week and because of my mental health and everything I couldn't do it so I really just want to get this done tonight because I need to get started on a gathering of shadows because the live show is this weekend. So I really need to do that and I have so many other books I need to read <laughs> but yes yeah, so and also of course I'm loving this. Forgot to mention that. I'm absolutely loving it so 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 much. As expected I'm so excited to finish it. Oh, it's just so good, and I just, the, the antagonist in this series is honestly one of the most complex and intriguing antagonists I've ever read, and I, it's just, it's so fascinating to read about, so I am so, I'm just really, really happy with where this story is going, and I just love how we have so many answers to questions that we had in the first book, and it's just so satisfying, you get to learn more about the world, oh, it's just... It's amazing. So I'm super excited slash nervous to finish it because I saw Piera's reaction on Twitter. She posted a little video of her finishing the book. She was crying and I'm scared now. <laughs> oh, it's just so good. Anyway, so... Oh yeah, so I, I was supposed to go to gym tonight <laughs> because I usually go to gym on Thursdays. But I'm getting like semi-stressed about all the books that I need to read this month. So I just really want to, you know, stay home and chill out and read. So yeah, hopefully I'll be finishing that tonight. Yeah. So I actually haven't done the quote on the blackboard yet. Sorry if this reading vlog is sort of jumbled because it's not a week, it's gonna be two weeks. Yeah, <laughs> sorry about that. Yeah, so thank you so much to everyone who sent me quotes. And don't forget to leave some possible quotes for me to use next week. <laughs> to Kylie for suggesting the quote by JK Rowling. It's important to remember that we all have magic inside us. Love it. So let's hang it up.
Oh, also, I've been watching The Dragon Prince on Netflix. They just released the first season recently, and my boyfriend and I have been watching it together, and it is so freaking good. I love it so much, and I'm not disappointed because I was really anticipating it because I believe it has the same writers as Avatar The Last Airbender, aka my favourite show of all time, so I was really, really excited for it. And it is so good. I love it. The characters are just so amazing. I love the animation style. I know that some people are not a fan of it, but I love it. I just love the plot and I love the magic in it. And oh, it's just so good. I haven't finished it yet. I'm on, I think I have two episodes left. But it, yeah, I just wanted to mention it because if you've watched it, let's gush in the comments because and tell me who your favourite character is. Because I love it so much. And my favourite character is, of course I forgot her name. I think it's Rayla. Let me just double check. <laughs> Actually, but I also love Ezrin and Callum. <laughs> I love I love so many characters. Yes, Rayla. That's Rayla and Callum. I just love them. I just love it so much and I'm so, so pleased with it. Anyway, so yeah, I'm going to try to read for the rest of the night and try to finish this. Um, I am going to get changed in to some comfy clothes and then I'm going to make myself a coffee because I am a little bit tired so, you know, I need some energy. Even though I actually don't really feel the effects of coffee, <laughs> but I, I like to have it sometimes. So yeah, I'm going to make myself a coffee and hopefully finish this and just have a nice cosy night in reading. One of my favourite books ever. <laughs> when I finish this, I'm going to decide which one is my ultimate favourite, Strange Dreamer or Muse of Nightmares. Oh, it's going to be a tough one, but yeah, so I'm excited to finish it and just, oh my god. <laughs> And I have relocated to my bedroom. Yeah, so while I was taking my makeup off, I was watching, well, I still am watching actually, <laughs> Brit's vlog. If you haven't subscribed to Brit, I definitely recommend it. She's one of my absolute favourites. She's so lovely. She has the best style. She's just, yeah, she has an amazing personality and her editing is amazing. I just love the way that she edits her vlogs. It's super satisfying and stunning. <laughs> so yeah, definitely subscribe if you haven't. I'll link her channel. I never know where to point one of these corners. I think it's this corner. Anyway, so yeah, definitely subscribe because she's amazing. I don't know if you saw when I was taking my makeup off and watching the vlog, I was smiling. She's actually really funny and she just makes me smile. <laughs> but anyway, so I got up to page 299. So around 200 pages left. What time is it? Eight o'clock. Okay, okay. Reading from now until sleeping time. <laughs> I've brushed my teeth and done everything so I'm ready for bed and I'm going to read this out <laughs> and I'm going to read this until I finished it. Okay. So I'm on page 399 and I am stressing out. Oh my gosh. I don't know. I don't know how it's going to end. I'm honestly stressing. It's 10 o'clock. Oh my gosh. I don't know how to feel. Well, I, I do know that I'm stressed. <laughs> That's what I know. And no. Oh my, okay, no. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna keep reading.
Okay, I finished it. I finished it. <laughs> oh my gosh, I loved it so much. I honestly feel so happy right now. I just, I loved it. It was so satisfying. It was 100% five stars. I loved it with all my heart. I loved it. I loved it. It was, oh, it was amazing. It was honestly so, so amazing. I could not be happier. <laughs> I'm so happy and oh my gosh, I really, there's potential for more books in this series or spin-off or I don't know like there needs to be more please like oh my gosh there is so much potential oh my gosh <laughs> I'm so happy right now it was perfect oh so satisfying I'm so happy <laughs> sorry I just can't get over it I just love it so much um but anyway so I yeah I, like I told you I finished so I wanted to put it on my bookshelf and I ended up creating this little corner for this series. I'm really happy with how it looks so far. I just changed the shelf up a little bit. Although I have ordered a lot of cool copies of the series. So I'm going to probably have my own shelf for Strange Dreamer slash Lane Taylor. Super excited about it. I also have to do my Victoria Shrub shelf. Yep, <laughs> I need more shelves. <laughs> well, I would like more shelves, but I don't really have any more room, but I'll just have to sacrifice one of these shelves, but oh my gosh, I just, I love it. But I need to sleep now because it's late, but yeah, I just love it so much. I'm so happy. <laughs> hello, 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 hello. It is Thursday, Friday. <laughs> it's Friday, I'm in a really weird mood. Be well, I'm just tired because I stayed up last night reading the book, just finished work, super tired. But anyway, what am I doing tonight? Well, I am going on a call with Kevin soon. And after that, I'm hopefully, jokes, I am going to go out to dinner with my boyfriend. Super excited to eat some delicious food. And I also need to get cracking on a gathering of shadows because the live show is on Sunday. I haven't even started it, <laughs> but I do have all day tomorrow, so it's okay. Because I'm so tired, I wanted to get the audiobook so I could just chill out and play my Nintendo Switch while I was reading. But they don't sell the audiobook in Australia. Super annoying. So I'm gonna physically read it. I have my cool Astro Bars bookmark that Gail gave me. Thank you so much again. I absolutely love it. <laughs> so yeah, I'm excited to start. Let's see how many pages it is. Okay, so it's like around 500 pages. So that's like 100 pages more than the first book. I'm super excited because I've heard mixed opinions on this. Some people love it a lot. Some people don't love it as much as the first one. So I'm excited to see where I fall. I'm excited, obviously, for the live show. But yeah, so hopefully, I think my goal, my realistic goal is to get to 50 pages tonight just because I know how tired I am and I'm going out to dinner and yep, so that's my realistic goal. But I obviously want to get through more of it than that. But yes, I am really excited. Oh, also, I decided on a 4.5 stars for Blue Lily Lily Blue because... Okay, I think the problem is that I read Muse of Nightmares at the same time and because that book was just absolutely incredible, compared to that book, it's not as good. Well, I don't love it as well, in my opinion, I just don't love it as much as Muse of Nightmares. So I think, you know, it could have the potential for five stars if I didn't read it simultaneously with such an amazing book. Because uh, it is an amazing book, it is an amazing book, but because I just have so much love for that series right now. The Stranger Dreamer series. I think that kind of played into it a little bit, but obviously 4.5 stars is still a really good rating. But I'll be interested to see if it turns into a 5 stars when I physically read it later on. But yeah, so I decided on that. But anyway, yeah, I'm going to actually try to read a little bit before the call because I'm waiting for Kevin. So yeah, I'm going to try to read a little bit and then have the call with him. And yeah. I just finished my little secret thing with Kevin. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I'm going to put his channel here, or here, and down below. Definitely subscribe to this Pooh Bear if you haven't. <laughs> oh, you call me Pooh Bear. <laughs> Love that onesie. Okay, so it's Sunday. I didn't vlog anything yesterday because I was, like, stressing out the whole day because I needed to finish my book. 
because I didn't read much on Friday. I think I read like 10 pages, so I was a little bit stressed out because I woke up with a headache and I wanted to listen to the audiobook, but they don't sell the audiobook in Australia, so I was a little bit stressed out reading this. Well, obviously, I was loving it, but, um, you know, I obviously had to just get it done in time for the live show, but... So yeah, I read this basically in one day yesterday, but I actually had a really great time. Um, my headache, like, died down, and I was really getting into it, and I just honestly loved this from start to finish. I loved it so much. Oh, I had a live show this morning. <laughs> um, I just got off the call with everyone, and we actually had a fun little chat afterwards. It was really fun. So yeah, it was so fun talking about this book because there is so much to talk about in this book. I feel like the live show could have been five hours. Like there is just so much to talk about. Like I loved so much about this book and people told me that I was going to get like Harry Potter vibes and I definitely got to of five vibes with the Essentosh, I think it's called, the Element games. So oh, it was just so fun and I loved the world building. Oh, anyway, I've talked about this book a lot, so I'm a little bit tired now. But I'll obviously talk about it more in my wrap-up, and you can also watch the live show if you want. I'll link it up here if you want to watch it. But yeah, it was so much fun. And thanks so much to everyone who joined. And yeah, I just... Oh, by the way, I gave this a 5 out of 5 stars. I loved it so much. And oh my gosh, I'm so excited to start The Conjuring of Light soon. I'm just going to check how many pages... Oh, this is thick. Oh, yes. So this has 624 pages, oh my gosh, so I'm obviously not going to leave this to the last minute, <laughs> but I do like to have it fresh in my mind, so I'm going to start reading it probably like the week before the live show, but oh my gosh, I'm so excited to read this. Or maybe I should just read it, oh no, I don't know, <laughs> I want to read it now, but because there is a massive cliffhanger in this book. But oh my gosh, I, yeah, I'm just, this series has become one of my absolute favourites. I love it so much and it's just been so fun discussing it because it's definitely a series that has a lot to discuss and yeah, it was really, really fun and I'm so excited for the final live show. But yes, yeah, so now it is 10 and I've been up since 5, <laughs> so I'm quite tired. I'm probably going to have a nap today. I was gonna film today. I might still, oh, I don't know. I am pretty tired and I have been talking for like the past however many hours, so I need to recuperate. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'm gonna film today actually. I think I'm just going to relax, probably have a nap, and might read, I might read a little bit. I might wanna start Bridge of Clay. I also have to do editing. I have a lot of videos I have to edit. Also tonight, slash this afternoon, I'm hanging out with my friends. We are going to practice some basketball have dinner at my house, and have trivia at my house. So I'm really excited for that, <laughs> but yeah. Oh my gosh, I've non-stop talked since seven. <laughs> so yeah, I need some time to chill out, have breakfast, watch some booktube videos. I'm excited. <laughs> yeah, I just had so much fun. It's worth it to wake up that early, you know? It's a lot of fun. And we had some iconic moments once again in the live show. But yeah, so I don't know why I picked this up, but I'm gonna have breakfast now. <laughs> Oh, nonsense. <laughs> you know when there's a hair in your face and you can't find it? Yeah, I think I got it. <laughs> okay, so I'm actually going to wrap up the vlog because I'm not going to read any more today. I'm super tired. I'm going to have a nap soon and then, well, maybe. <laughs> well, I also need to edit and like I mentioned, I'm going to hang out with my friends soon. So yeah, I'm going to wrap up this vlog. I'm sorry that it was not the conventional weekly reading vlog that I usually do, but we'll get back to that next week. <laughs> but yeah, so I'll wrap up all the reads that I've read throughout these past two weeks. So I have read four books, but I'm only going to show you three because the fourth book that I read was for another reading vlog, the one that I keep talking about, the one with Kevin. So that one should be coming out within a few days after this is posted. So yeah, I read a lot of amazing books over the past three weeks, two weeks, sorry. <laughs> so yeah, I finished Muse of Nightmares, which of course I loved so much. I'm so happy I got my reaction to finishing it because this is just gonna always mean a lot to me and my second favourite series now of all time. I've decided after Harry Potter. This is my second favourite series of all time, even though it's duology, but oh my gosh, I just love it so much. I think out of the two, I'm going to reread Stranger Dreamer soon. <laughs> so then I'm going to decide which one is my ultimate fave out of the two, but they're really like... They're both just so amazing, like, oh, this did not disappoint. Oh, I'm so happy with it. Yeah, and of course I gave this a 5 out of 5 stars. Then I finished the audiobook for Blue Lily Lily Blue, 
and I gave this a 4.5 out of 5 stars. And finally, I read A Gathering of Shadows by V.E. Schwab, which I gave 5 out of 5 stars. Amazing. Loved it. So happy. Love this series. Can't wait to read Conjuring of Light. Can't wait for the last live show. But I'm also sad about it because it's going to be a sad moment because it's going to be over. <laughs> I love the series. Oh, yeah. A lot of... Yeah. A lot of amazing books and hopefully I'll be reading some more amazing books next week so I'm super excited and I'm sort of going delirious because I'm so tired. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Let me know what you're reading, everything like that. Yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys are having a good day or night and I'll see you in my next one.